A lot to talk about in the forecast for next week and even potentially a chance of thunderstorms, right Marissa? Yeah, we are looking at a couple chances for some storms. One will be sooner than the other, but I'm worried about the one that's going to happen the next, the latter, I will say. We do have a marginal risk for some severe storms as we head into Tuesday night, so that means that isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. We've got some of the ingredients likely to happen. We're missing one, but we'll see how things change as we get closer to that time. But let's enjoy the weather that we have in place right now. A beautiful day today, mostly sunny skies. We did see 51 for our high temperature this afternoon in the city of Detroit after starting off at 23. So we uh, nearly doubled our temperature uh, from where we started at. But as we take a look at our current temperatures, we're still holding close to 50. A lot of us in the upper 40s, but overall it's still a pretty nice evening outside. It is a little bit breezy. That's definitely made it feel colder than it actually is. But as we move into tonight, winds are going to start to let up. We've had a couple of clouds move through. More clouds expected. There have been some sprinkles around us, but really not here in Metro Detroit. Again, this is that front. We've got that cold front kind of moving just to our north, even though we have strong winds out of the south, bringing us some warmer air. So I really don't expect many showers tonight, but don't be surprised. Maybe they get a sprinkle. Otherwise, we'll just have some clouds pushing through overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, we'll start off with almost mostly sunny skies everywhere. However, winds are going to be out of the southeast. So if you live close to Lake Erie, there's a good chance that you'll likely see some fog through most of Monroe County. We may also see some through uh, close to Lake St. Clair, as well as up towards Lake Huron. So kind of be prepared for that. Just some patchy fog to start off the day, but we will see quite a bit of sunshine through majority of the day. As we get towards your Monday night, we'll start to see quiet conditions before clouds push right back on in and we'll have a slight chance for a thunderstorm or two as you head into Tuesday morning just before daybreak. So this is our first chance right now. Nothing severe expected with this little round and also just a few sh uh, showers or a thunderstorm possible throughout most of Tuesday. We'll have just a few showers, though. We're not expecting a washout of a day on Tuesday. I'm really focused on Tuesday night into Wednesday. You can see here this is a lot stronger. This is 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. This will be our chance for again potentially strong two severe thunderstorms as they roll through in the early morning hours. Hail a possibility, strong winds as well a possibility. The slightest chance again for even maybe a tornado, but as of right now, the ingredients aren't necessarily there for that. But keep an eye and stay weather aware moving into Wednesday morning. We will keep more showers and potentially a few more thunderstorms into the rest of your Wednesday morning before snow arrives. But again, Monday is going to be a quiet day. We're going to have highs in the low 50s. Temperatures will be a roller coaster. We'll go from 62 for a high on Tuesday and dropping temperatures throughout the day on Wednesday. So we'll start at about 56 and then be into the mid 30s by the afternoon. Simon. Thanks.